Hi, good evening. This is uh, Lisbeth Shoho Tapuan. I am promoting the Trinity Cares. God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit cares for all of us to be healthy physically, mentally, and spiritually. And we just have to ask and keep on talking to him putting out all our burdens to him if you feel like we're getting depressed um, trying to be starting to feel negative uh, thoughts put it away focus on Jesus um, try not to think about yourself but to look for Jesus because if you cannot you know talk it out to other people to your friend to your to your loved ones then talk it out to Jesus you know remove all the negativity all the negative thoughts So first, I want to um, pray for all, for everybody, especially my friends, family, and acquaintances, and to the whole world, because all of us are suffering in one degree to the other. We may have different levels of suffering, but all of us goes into some kind some type of uh, of challenges issues and we need directions we need to be guided we might think that it's is the right choice but it's not because someone up there knows us better than we do and also knows the people we're dealing with you know in our situation so let me first pray the name father son holy spirit amen in your mighty name lord jesus christ I bind all demonic forces, all forces of bad things, all negativity, all illness, sickness, physical, spiritual, and emotional obstacles, professional obstacles, financial obstacles, mountains, strife, curse, family division, relationship division, um, depression, anxiety, and forgiveness, hatred, loneliness, um, anger, all the negative things that have come against all mankind especially my friends, my relatives, my family. And all those who are in prison, either physically in prison or mentally in prison with negative thoughts and spiritually in prison that are in darkness. And all those who have slept before us and all those who are suffering from uh, who are who are in purgatory cover us with your precious blood that was shed for us on the cross Mary our mother we seek your protection and intercession the sacred heart of Jesus for us and our families surround us with your mantle of love discards the enemy 
Saint Michael, our guardian angel, come defend us and our family against the evil ones that roam the, er the earth. And I bind in your name, Lord Jesus Christ, I bind and command all forces of evil to depart right now away from us, our homes and our land. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for a faithful and compassionate God. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your holy gifts. Let our weakness be penetrated with thy strength this very day that we may fulfill all our duties consciously, that we may do what is right and just. Let our charities be such as to offend no one and hurt no one's feelings, so generous to pardon sincerely any wrong done to us. Assist us, O Holy Spirit, in all the trials of life. Enlighten us in our ignorance, advise us in our doubt. Strengthen us in our weakness, help us in all need and embarrassment. Protect us in temptations, graciously hear us, O Holy Spirit and pour thy light into our hearts, our soul, our mind. Assist us to live a holy life, to grow in goodness and grace. Amen. Now I would like to talk about um, focus on Jesus. Hold on to your faith to Him and stand firm. It's not only good for our soul, it's also good for our health. Because if we know and we have faith and trust in God that He loves us, that He is with us, you're not alone, that He knows you, He knows your problem, all you have to do is to really talk to Him. You know, talk to to him about your burden and it will calm you down it will give you peace if you know because I've done that you know when things are you know are are getting too overwhelming you're you're being uh, hit right and left you know and you know and you you will tend to panic you know you you tend to be um, you tend to be shocked you know because you cannot move because you do not know which way to turn but if you really put it and give it to the Lord it will give you peace of mind it's it's for me it was a short thing and it helped me throughout and up to now but you have to do it every day you have they say practice makes perfect and throughout our life there will always be challenges there will always be uh, issues wherever but God has given us a way out but you got to trust him you got to have to um, really internalize it because for me one way to to test that you don't really trust him you may say you know I give it to you but it's only by word of mouth I mean you're just talking saying it but you're not really feeling it so um, and with this picture this uh, animation of Jesus um, I got from Catholic TV um, actually the title of this is come to me who are heavily burdened and I will give you rest 
and that's in the Bible. He, God, this enormous love for us that He gave us. He's practically spoon feeding us. You know, we just have to uh, acknowledge it and and believe it. So when you have discerned or you have uh, you know uh, learned or felt that you are go going to the negative negativity of your daily life of your thinking cut it off and focus on him and tell him uh, to help you get out of this depression of this loneliness of this fear of this pride of the you know he's there for us I'm telling you this because I have uh, experienced it and it does help me go through what I'm, I've gone and I've seen small and big miracles so I know that he is with me he is uh, he is he is guiding me because I really trust him I do if I can do it you can too so with this picture you know um, this animation the song is about you know is our father but I would like to put a different song if you don't mind because I think it is us going to him because we know already that God loves us that he will he wants us to to be with him so let me this is by uh, salty and uh, I have um, have this uh, run almost every day when my children were babies were kids you know when they're in the car because they're they are uh what is it called that a trap audience <laughs> so anyway let me play it because it's so beautiful
so beautiful so it is us imagine yourself you're the one singing it and you're really meaning it and you imagining Jesus like this sometimes it it helps you know when your thoughts are all negative and you worry you fear you you're depressed you're anxious you're angry imagine Jesus telling you come to me come to me because when you set your mind to something positive it sets your emotion to something positive you know so you need we need to always uh, train our mind that's a positive suggestion so when you're hit by some misfortune some some bad things you're prepared because you know you have a God who will take care of you and that's what I for me that's what I did you know when when troubles were were in front of my face hitting me right and left and I don't know where to go I I was just um, overwhelmed but it made me closer much closer to God I have felt his hand upon me don't look away from destruction you know like people telling you oh you'll never make it or oh why are you letting him suffer and you know but when you know that you're in a different realm and you stood firm on what you believe and what is in your pit in your heart that you know that God has plans for you so don't give up don't give up get directions from the Holy Spirit I would like to uh, read to you the, the Bible verses that I uh, there are several Bible verses I keep on opening during the time at first I wasn't you know listing it down but I uh, somehow I keep on opening on different passages but there are times that I open it up again in the same passage you know so so I start uh, writing the passage you know just the, the where where it is and so uh, the first one that I opened that time was on the book of John what happened uh, on the book of John it says uh, Jesus heals a man born blind uh, that is on John 9 verse 1 to 12 and there's another one that's my tablet because I, I had my uh, iPad that time uh, let's see. <laughs> somehow it got 
a turn of the others but that's fine the others is in Matthew 9 verse 120 let me see let me see if I have that oh there it is Matthew uh, Matthew 9 1 verse 1 to 12 and here the title is Jesus forgives and heals a paralyzed man and then there's another one that I open uh, and the other one was Matthew 8 verse 5 to 16 let me see because I I just list down the na name of the of you know the word it, I get it Matthew 8 verse 5 to 18 is the when Jesus had returned entered Capernaum a centurion came to him asking for help Lord he said my servant lies at home paralyzed suffering terribly Jesus said to him shall I come and heal him and the centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. And uh, I'm starting to tear up a bit. You know. Uh, then the others is uh, Daniel 4. 26 to 36 let me see I'll just name a few because just imagine every day since that time when I I uh, got to Reno Nevada as I said I open my Bible every day and and during that time I was opening to different verses that has the healing it says they need to, but anyway so these are the different verses that I have opened my Bible with and uh, there's so many more but one is uh, 2 Timothy 1 verse 6 to 14 is the one Corinthians nine twenty four to twenty seven, and basically, it's directing me. You know, giving me hope, giving me, giving me uh, light on what I should do and what I should hope for, and. I stood my ground although it was difficult because uh, as a medical doctor I know what my husband has gone through that you know it's uh, I could have easily probably let him go but that was not direction for me I really poured out all my troubles and he did took care of us my family so you see he's there for us and he wants us to to focus on him he wants us to be with him in heaven so do, why don't we do our part let's do our part when we try to uh, to remove our thoughts from ourselves like especially if you compare yourself to other people you must remember you're different everybody's different 
our our issues our challenges are different and when we try to to focus on him we get involved with godly people with uh, with um, we when we when meditate on what he tells us things will get better at least you will have peace because you know there's a great God who takes who loves us so much and we are not really alone when we think we're alone no we're never alone like me I he wants he wants me to be happy he wants me to do stuff that he wants he tells me to and I also want him to be he I want also to please him I don't want to please other people not even my you know my family my focus is how will I please God because he has done so much for me and my family because he loves me people might not understand me people might get angry with me or talk at my back you know people might uh, might uh, humiliate me or insult me you know so it's it's not me who is gonna take care of them for saying bad words about me it's him you know all my focus is what can I do to please him remember in the end when we all pass this earth it's judgment what did you do did you put me first did you love your neighbor as you love me that is the big question the, that's the main goal that's why he does because he knows how we think we, he knows how we can easily change or swayed by by negativity we'd like we would rather conform to what is in the world yeah I mean we need our family we need you know we need our neighbors but f foremost we need God and in so doing you know you become calm you become happy and so it's health it promotes health when you have a confidence you're secure in God's love when you 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 sincerely do what pleases him not yourself and you follow his and you follow his uh, prompting because I myself you know I there are lots of instances that uh, I was starting to do, do the other way or to think the other way but he he maneuvers me to go his way and I'm happy and I'm so happy that God is with me and my family and of course I keep on praying that we stay that way that that we don't get swayed by the evil force you know because it's 
it's a it's basically a, a spiritual battle it's a spiritual battle for us just imagine how God loves us so there is no reason there's no excuse for us to worry to to feel depressed to feel well you know I know it's easier said than done but if you keep on giving yourself positive suggestion that you know God loves us we have a mission and a mission to please him to glorify him a mission to help others in helping others you help yourself And it's not only for me, it's not only um, wanting to just go to heaven with all our struggles, with all our destruction, but for me, I want to please Him. I wanted to Him to be happy with me. And if I'm, and I feel that I'm on the right track because, in spite of all my, my uh, challenges, I feel at peace. Even though we continue every day, there will always be challenge. Every day, but you just have to take one step at a time. And for me, the first step of the day is to, to, to pray, to talk to him, and to cast out the devil. And sometimes I could really, you know, uh, feel that... Uh, I feel blessed. I was given the opportunity to undergo trials and endure and I got closer to him. So Let's do it, you know. There's another one that I need, I wanted to share. See. In, uh, in 2 Corinthians 10, verse 4 to 5, the weapons of power. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretensions that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ and what hits me here is the it says uh, we if you believe in Christ we demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ so 
we have to set up our mind focus on him so that we'll be obedient to Christ and in so doing we make him happy yes that's what I want to do and uh, and this one on uh, Thessalonians 2 verse 13 to 17 but the one that really stands out with me on these verses is in 15 to 17 it says so then brothers and sisters stand firm and hold fast to the teaching we have passed on to you whether by word of mouth or by letter may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who love us and by his grace gave us eternal encouragement and good hope encourage your hearts and strengthen you in every good deed and word so why will not be in love with Jesus my goodness you know we have such a great God we really do it's just so great that uh, we just need to obey him and make him happy and if you're are having issues struggling with troubles give it to him talk to him talk 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 to him but of course you need to listen too you cannot just be all doing all the talking you know you have to listen you have to discern You know, I did this last night, but I was just so, so tired and, you know, I was aching because uh, I fell in our front port, uh, front, uh, that night when my husband was brought to the emergency room, I, I miss. The, you know the there's a slight elevation between the ground and the pavement towards my house and I fell and I'm I just did I had a slight abrasion but uh, I must have braced myself you know I now I'm hurting in my chest in my in my my chest area but this this has got better and I thank God for that that I didn't break any bone you know and I'm very thankful and I was really probably I must be hurrying up to come home and do my my uh, video Uh, so anyway yeah so you know what I wanted to to tape this uh, without me there let me hold on I, let me see
Father, we believe in your Son, the Lord Jesus. We believe in your amazing love for us. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we recognize that we have a covenant with you. This new covenant was ratified by the shed blood of Jesus on the cross at Calvary. Right now, we acknowledge that Jesus bore our sins, our sicknesses, diseases, sorrows, griefs, fears, torments, unforgiveness, strife, and lack for us. Everything on that cross. Yes, Lord, we believe that Jesus' body was broken for us. His precious blood was shed on our behalf. We praise and thank you for Jesus. Glory to your name. By Jesus' stripes, we are healed. In every cell, in every organ, in every function of our body. Thanks to Jesus, our youth is renewed. With long life, you will satisfy us, Father. Through Jesus' sacrifice, we have total and complete redemption. We are totally delivered from the devil in every single way. We are new creations in Christ. Our freedom has been bought and paid for. Yes, we are forgiven. We are redeemed. We are free. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we give you thanks. The Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. We will eat now. Thank you, Father. After the same manner also, he took the cup, which he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. We take the cup in our hand and hold it up to you right now. Father, this represents the blood of the new covenant in which all our sins, past, present, and future, are all remitted. They are all forgiven through the blood of Jesus. Praise your holy name. Through his blood, we and our family are redeemed from every curse, every ancestral curse, from every single curse of the law. Thank you. We will drink now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a good, good God. You gave up your son to remove the barrier standing between you and us. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that above all else, you desire that we prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. We declare a new dimension of health, a new level of faith, a new realm of energy and divine strength. We declare that we are living, walking testimonies to all those around us who are defeated in this world. We have victory and new life in Jesus. Oh, that the world would come to know you. Protect, preserve, bless, and reach every single person in our family and our friends. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So, that is for tonight. I thank you and I God bless us all and I pray for healing of all the people who are sick who is infected of COVID-19 and I pray that they will find solace with Jesus Amen. In the name of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.